Cryptocurrency is like your everyday market. For example, barrel. Say you bought one barrel for ten dollars. It was so cheap, so you added nine more. Now you have ten barrels, which amounts to hundred dollars. If the price of one barrel moves to twenty dollars, your ten barrels will be worth two hundred dollars. So your gain now is hundred dollars. If you decide to sell your ten barrels, you'll be selling it at the price of two hundred dollars. You'd have back your hundred dollars you used in buying the barrel initially. And then you would gain extra hundred dollars. Now, in the cryptocurrency world, what we buy and sell are currencies, cryptocurrencies, not barrels. For example, KSM is a cryptocurrency. So that is Solana is a cryptocurrency. BTC, that is Bitcoin, is a cryptocurrency. In the real world market, you need for example, for Nigerians, you need the Naira to buy a barrel. So also in the cryptocurrency market, you need a stable coin. Naira is a stable coin. You need a stable coin in the cryptocurrency market to buy a cryptocurrency. And one of the stable coins out there is USDT. USDT is a stable coin. For you to buy KSM, which is a cryptocurrency, USDT is also a cryptocurrency, but it is a stable coin which means it does not increase in value, neither does it decrease in value. It is constant or almost constant. So we use stable coins to buy cryptocurrencies. Although USDT stable coins are also called cryptocurrencies, just that they don't increase in price in value, neither do they decrease in value. They are constant. So for example, if you want to buy a cryptocurrency called KSM, you just search for it and then you put stroke USDT, which means that you want to use the stablecoin USDT to buy KSM. That's what you are doing. If you say KSM stroke USDT, it means that you want to use USDT to buy KSM. After searching it, you click on it. I'm using KuCoin Exchange currently for this tutorial. When you click on it, you'll be taken to this page. Now to buy KSM, you simply click on the buy button below. And then you'll be taken to this page where you can buy KSM. But I will use Ton as an example because I want to buy Ton currently. So I simply search for Ton stroke USDT. And then click on turn stroke USDT. And then click on buy below. This page has opened to me. So what do I do next? I'll simply ensure that this tab is currently on buy because I want to buy turn. And if I want to buy turn immediately, I'll turn here to market. I'll turn that limit to market. But there's something I want to show you first. So I'll leave it on limit. You see this amount tab? It means the number of ton you want to buy. So if I want to buy, let's say five ton, if I put in five in this amount session, I would see the value, the worth of that five ton under this USDT volume session. As you can see, I inserted five year. 5 ton and then under this volume USDT session I was displayed the value of that 5 ton the worth of that 5 ton All right that's the usefulness of this limit one of the usefulness though another usefulness of this particular limit is this let's say you want to buy ton when it gets to $1 you simply change the limit USDT session to one. So what is this limit USDT session is the price you want to buy the ton at. So you can put one dollar there. So you are saying that when the price of ton gets to one dollar, the algorithm should automatically help you buy this ton. All right. At the price of one dollar, it should help you buy this amount of ton, five ton. 
and five ton is what what five ton is what five usdt at the price of one usdt if the current price of ton is one usdt it then means that if you are buying five ton at that price of one usdt you'll be spending only five usdt volume so take note the limit usdt is the price you want to buy the ton the amount is the number of ton you want to buy then the volume usdt is the worth or the value of the ton you are buying the number of ton you are buying all right but i don't want to use limit to buy my ton i want to buy my ton instantly so i'll turn limit to market market means instant buying when i click on buy it will buy immediately so i'll simply put in the amount i want to buy ton with i already have my usdt available so i can just i will just click on 100% or I can put in the amount in USDT I want to buy a ton. So let's say I want to buy 30 USDT of ton. I can put it there and then click on buy ton. Or I can go back to the limit section, click on limit and then put in the turn the price to the default price. Look at the price here. 7.32. Put 7.32. And then on that amount I can put in six on to buy six and then i'll know how much is six for 43.92 around there because i didn't put in the exact price right so i can then go back to market and then put in 43 point whatever i saw there right but i will just simply click on 100 percent to use all the money in my account to buy the ton probably i'll just let me just buy 34 let me buy 34 usdt all right or 33 so that i can buy another coin so remember it's at market which means that if i click on this button i will buy instantly so i just bought ton so if i click on this sell session now this sell session is for you to sell your ton just as i have explained this the explanation i i gave for the buy session it's the same thing for sell session only that in the sell session you are selling and not buying when you are done with whatever you must do here they click on set on to sell but under this set ton session you can see that i have 4.5 ton it, it is placed there now i want to quickly explain something under this setup when you sell a particular coin you'll be converting that coin to usdt as you, can see, as you can see, under this setup, I currently have 5.1186 ton. This is what I have bought for ton. This is what, this is what I have for ton. If I sell, let's say, 5 ton, I'll be converting that 5 ton to USDT. So if, if I go under the buy tab session, I would see the amount I converted to USDT here. Yeah. I'll, I'll see the amount of that the value of that five ton i converted to usdt here all right so when you buy what you are doing is using your usdt to purchase the cryptocurrency for example ton and when you go to the setup you will see the ton that you have the cryptocurrency that you have and when you sell what you'll be doing is converting the cryptocurrency for example ton to usdt so if you go to the buy tab you will see the usdt yeah all right you use usdt to buy cryptocurrency all right to invest in it and when you are done investing in it you want to sell it to take profit what you'll be doing when you sell that coin you'll be converting that coin from its state to usdt so that you can sell this usdt on that p2p pay to pay marketplace all right so that's that don't go into the p2p marketplace if you don't know how to trade there to avoid being scammed if i want to check my asset i'll simply click on asset below at the bottom right corner of my screen and then click on trading above in being as you click on spot and then as you can see here is done all right this for a uh, cool coin but how do you register on KuCo Exchange? I already created a video on that. 
go to my youtube channel or search for cool coin osawole emmanuel on youtube cool coin osawole emmanuel on youtube it's also on, on my tiktok channel so just search for cool coin hn search for this keyword cool coin hn registration basic navigation p2p basic guide to avoid being scammed search for this keyword I have also created a video on how to register on Bybit Exchange. Now for Nigerians, just use BVN to register and you'll be or KYC verified in seconds. It's fast. Even in Binance. For Binance, you'd have to pass through extra verification just a few hours and you'll be verified. But for KuCoin and Bybit, it's seconds. Emmanuel, you've said many things but i've not seen how i'll be able to analyze coins myself and this is the part where your screen go blank because this part is for all the people who can have access to it perhaps people who paid for this video or people who are privileged to have access to this section of the video because they are members of my private community now this is how to analyze a coin mathematically there is fundamental analysis where you check the people's website, you check who they have collaborated with, they are, that is their partners, you check their credibility, who the owner is, you check their website in detail to see if there's any red flag, things like that, that's fundamental analysis. You check news, you check what people are seeing about it on Twitter or Google, anywhere, that's fundamental analysis. Why there is mathematical analysis, I'll be showing you only the mathematical aspect. So for example, you want to analyze KSM. So you search for KSM USDT. You click on it. And then you click on it. It's important for you to know why Jesus came. Otherwise, you are never going to fully maximize whatever his coming represents. And whatever he would have come with, you are likely going to be left out of partaking and experiencing in what he gave. Jesus himself, he opened his mouth and he said that I am come so that they might have life. And when he gave you, he did not give you to the amount that is just sufficient for you. He gave it to you in abundance. He gave you extra. He knew how much was going to be sufficient for you. And then he gave you more than that. So that as you walk through life, you will identify situations that are dying, environments that are dying, and then you can share the life that you carry and watch as things around you come to life.